we have got some shocking news from chess world. 22 years old Ukrainian grandmaster representing Romania with rating 2656 and the number 69th chess player in the world has been expelled from Spanish team chess championship. He became grandmaster at the age of 14. What was the reason that he was expelled? The reason was that the phone in the bathroom was found, which is linked to him and his behavior, as he was going pretty often during the rounds in the bathroom, and the arbiters and chess players got this big suspicious, and that's why he was expelled. Especially this happened on the second round against Grandmaster Francisco Vallejo, and let's analyze this game, and let me know your opinions. The game started with e4, b5, knight on f3, knight on f6, knight on e5, knight on e4. Petrov's defense, classical variation. Queen e2, queen e7, queen takes e4, d6, d4, d takes e5, d takes e5. That's how it continues, and here Shevchenko has slightly better position. Knight c6, knight c3. Everything is going fine. Queen takes e5, trading these queens, knight takes on e5, bishop on f4. Instead of bishop on f4 was also move like knight b5, but after bishop b4 would be bishop d2, trade, and then king d8. And uh, here, in this position, Shevchenko has also good position. And it was one of the options instead of bishop on f4. But he decided to play bishop on f4, which is line 2 here, as Injin says. Bishop on f4. Bishop d6, Bishop g3. The idea here is to avoid knight on d3 or knight on f3. If this would happen, here white would get doubled pawns and then Bishop on f4 would be hanging and it would be better position for black as they would get two bishop pair. So that's why Shevchenko played Bishop g3 and h5. Usually in this kind of positions, they play h5 in order to push this pawn and attack bishop or knight any pieces on this square so h5 was a good move and castle castle is only move to make this king safe otherwise bishop b2 and castle would take some long time and rook d1 is already starting participating in the game so this castle was good move here f6 and knight on b5 instead of knight on b5 would be also great move to play h4 in order to avoid h4 by itself but same time knight b5 is logical move to attack bishop d6 and then attack pawn on c7 h4 another logical move that was the point of playing h5 bishop on f4 which was mistake it would be better to first play knight d6 to neutralize this bishop on this uh, diagonal and then play bishop on f4 and now knight d3 is not hanging what we have said before so after knight b4, now it would be better if Vallejo pawns would play knight d3. And after bishop d3, bishop on f4 and king b1. And it will be much better for black to play like that. But he played king on e7. After king on e7, knight d6, strong move to simply neutralize these bishops. And same time after c takes d6, this pawn becomes weak. As uh, Kirill would have this bishop on f4 dark squared bishop bishop d2 instead of bishop d2 would be also great move to play bishop e2 to develop the bishop rook d2 rook d1 in the end to attack the pawn on d6 but bishop d2 is also interesting move in order to play bishop b4 and attack this pawn on d6 bishop g4 and f3 and bishop f5 while pawns is trying to create some counter attack on c file and attacking this pawn on c2 bishop a4 Rook hd8, bishop e2, logical moves, rook has to be developed, etc. Rook c8, and c3. Of course, want to avoid losing pawn on c2. King on f7, bishop takes d6, attacking knight on e5, knight c4, bishop on f4, rook e8, and rook he1, just simply protecting bishop on e2. g5, logical move to expel this bishop from f4 square. Bishop takes c4, rook takes c4, rook takes e8, king takes on e8, and bishop e3. Now, even though Shevchenko has extra pawn, there are different colored bishops, there are still rooks, so it's equal in evaluation, 
and it's a bit hard for white to win this game. A6 was mistake as there is rook d6 and this pawn is hanging. Instead of a6 would be better to play king on f7 to protect this pawn or play rook on a4 to attack this pawn etc. After a6 there is rook d6, rook c6 and trade these rooks. Yes, here Shevchenko still has extra pawn but it's still hard to win as there are no rooks on the board and there are different called bishops. And if all of these pawns will be traded, it will be a draw. King d2, h3, g4. Here, this pawn becomes weak as it's isolated from this pawn structure. So we can say that Shevchenko's chances to win this game is getting a bit higher. Bishop e6, b3, king d7, c4, and instead of c4, would be just better to play king on e1, ideal king on f2, king g3, as I said, to take this pawn. c4, king d6, king d3, f5, and f5 was a mistake. Instead of f5, Waleho pawns should have just played bishop on f7, bishop e6, bishop e8, etc. Simply just to repeat this moves, otherwise black has no play here, they are losing pawn. And f5 was a mistake as it gave white possibility to play f4 and create passed ball. f takes g4, f takes g4, king on e5. Well, even though this king becomes active, this pawn is already passed pawn. And also white has extra pawn on queen side and they can make passed pawn on the side. So it will be hard to protect both threats. Bishop on f2, bishop f5, and king c3. Logical move. Now white wants to use this king in order to attack this pawn on queen side and same time they will protect this passed pawn with bishop so it will be hard for black to protect all of these threats. Bishop e1, a3. a3 was kind of mistake, would be better to push a4 directly as a5 is not hanging after b4 and there would be already another passed pawn. a3, king on f5, king d4 and bishop on c2. Bishop on c2 was the biggest mistake here. Bishop a2 is the best move here, as after b4, there is just king g5, and already black is taking back the pawn, and they can also create passed pawn on the side, or just simply protect the position as they don't lose pawn anymore. And instead of b4, after king c3, there is just bishop b1, and even like before, it's not anything because king g5 is hanging. And if they just Simply try to protect after bishop on h4, they are g3. They are forced to take with bishop because if they take with pawn, there is h2 and that's lost. So they are forced to take with bishop and after king g5, there is bishop on f2 and it's a draw. So that's why here bishop a2 would be only move to survive in this game. But here Walachopons made mistake, played bishop c2 and b4. And it's already win because now white has no problem of creating another passed pawn on queen side and then play king c5, king b6, etc. King g5, king c5, bishop b3, king, king takes c6, bishop c4, a4. Really easy plan for white. Just simply create passed pawn. Bishop b3, king b6, bishop on a4, king on a6, bishop c2, b5, bishop d3, king on a5, easy moves, bishop b4, king g king b6, bishop d3, king c6, king on f5, b6, g3, last chance, but of course bishop takes on g3, bishop b4, king c7, king on e6, b7, bishop takes b7, king takes b7, and it's a win. It is a win because, first of all, this square is dark squared, and white has dark squared bishop, and that's a win. If it was light squared, it would be a theoretical draw. So that's why here Alejo Pons resigned. Let me know your opinions in the comments and give a like and subscribe.